Hi everyone, welcome to applying snow loads to a structure in S3D. I'm Daniel Vivas, Product Manager of SkyShip Engineering, and in this tutorial I'll guide you through a process of modeling snow loads on a structure using Structural 3D. Remember that you can use the standalone version of Load Generator to get an easy step-by-step -step wind, snow, and seismic load calculations to design your structures. Also, you can find more information about snow, wind loads, and many more topics in our documentation. So, let's get started. Let's start creating our members. In this case, I won't use this form, but I will use the pen tool. So I will select it. The first member will have four meters. The second member will have seven meters. I will create a vertical member of two meters. Now I will select these two members. I'm gonna do right click, split members, and I will divide them in seven parts each. And I will select this member, do right click, split, and I'm gonna divide it into six parts. Now I will finish the roof elements. Now I will duplicate this structure. So I just have to select all the elements, hitting Ctrl A. Go to edit, operations and repeat, or just hit Ctrl D. I'll set that is type linear and the number of repetitions will be 4 every 2.5 meters along the Z axis. I will proceed to create the portlands that will connect these structures. Now we can create some supports for our structure. So I just have to select these floor nodes, go to supports, I will double click in this field so the program will identify which nodes are selected. I will select this fixed support and I'll click on apply. I can now define these sections on materials. So in this case, I will use this section builder. I will find this material, this section. I'll select it and I will modify the material. This will be of wood and that's it. I can calculate this section so I can see the different properties. But when this is ready, I can just click on Submit. So by default, all the elements that were unassigned will now have this material assigned. So if you go to the 3D renderer, you'll see that now all of my members will have the section that we just loaded from the section builder. After this, we can start applying our snow loads. We just have to go to area loads, open these auto generate loads from design codes. I will select ASC 716 and I'll click on start. And this will open the load generator model inside S3D. Here we can define our site data. So we can define our risk category based on these values. For this example, we'll use risk category 2. We have to define our project address. In this case, Minneapolis. This will calculate the wind and the snow data. 
for that address we can also select the exposure category and the wind source direction so this will calculate the elevation chart and also all the terrain data for this elevation chart we can generate a site data report if we click here this will take a couple of seconds to generate the report once it is ready you can download it you can see all of the information here since this is wind information I won't uh, care too much about it because we are just showing this example for snow loads we can now define our structure data um, since we have a building we can select a roof profile of uh, gable the building length will be this length that is 7 meters the building width is 10 meters the mean roof height will be 5 uh, somewhere here and the roof pitch angle will be 29.745 for this example I will uncheck this calculate wind load we'll just calculate this uh, snow loads so you can select a terrain category so in this case I'll select uh, B you can see other options here for the exposure condition of roof you can click here and based on this uh, exposure condition you can select one of these uh, options so in this case I will select fully exposed the thermal condition uh, in this case I will use all other structures Sloped roof condition, I will say that is uh, slippery, and I won't consider unbalanced or rifted snow loads. After we have all of this information of the snow load and the structure data, we can generate the loads for our structure. As you can see, there are some cases where the loads are not generated correctly so as you can see uh, we wanted the loads to be in this direction but the loads were generated in these elements so what we can do is that we can delete all of these area types I'm also gonna delete these uh, loads generated so we can start from scratch and now I can add nodes to create these area types so we just have to follow these rules to create the area types so for our windward roof we just have to detect these nodes so this node will be the first one, the second one, the third one and the fourth one and for the leeward roof uh, this is also the convention that we have to follow so I will add a windward in this case in this case the node ID will be 2 6 110 and 106 if I click here in apply to S3D model you can see that now all of our loads are created properly so I will continue creating the leeward roof so you can see here the result the balance is now load you will see this pressure but if we check here the equivalent area loads this is our result you can also see here the snow parameters and the balance roof snow load and you can generate reports 
this will take a couple of seconds to generate this report and also you can generate a uh, detailed snow calculations after this we can close the load generator module inside S3D so you will see the result of our snow loads so if I select one of these uh, loads you will see that the load direction will be a global projected y-axis so what this means is that the load will be applied to the horizontal projected area which is this one and now that our model is finished we can solve our structure so we can see here the results for the snow balance load group we could go back and create load combinations but in this example we will leave it like this so we can check here the reactions the share diagrams for all of the members and also check the moments the actual results and we can also check the displacement as a consequence of applying the snow loads we can also create reports um, from this uh, structure from these results so we can just click here on create report and this will take a couple of seconds to generate it once it is ready we can check the report and you will see all the results for the members nodes you can check the build materials and more information about the results of our analysis you have completed the applying snow loads to a structure in S3D tutorial. I hope the tutorial has provided you with valuable insights into the process of modeling snow loads. Remember that if you have any questions or need assistance, our team at Skysip Engineering is always here to help. Thank you.